Pierre Sadak was Lebanon's leading political cartoonist until his death four years ago. He used his artwork to portray his opinion on politics in his country and region. And now a foundation has been set up in his name. Aber Ahmar went along to meet the next generation of satirical artists. For 55 years, Pierre Sadek documented Lebanon's history through caricatures. Until his death in 2013, he produced 30,000 cartoons that appeared on national television and in newspapers. Today, an exhibition in Beirut aims to keep his political humor alive. It's brought together caricatures from emerging talent at Lebanon's universities. The way we evaluated the students is by whether their caricature is telling a story, pointing at a certain matter, and how clear it is. Because the drawing of the caricature is supposed to be clear, quick, and in no need of analysis. This is what makes the caricature and Pierre Sadek powerful, because he was able to deliver what he wanted to say through a simple drawing. Each caricature portrays an event that happened in Lebanon last year. Beirut's rubbish crisis, the presidential elections, and Lebanon's religious and cultural debates inspired the cartoons. Jean-Marie Ramia made a drawing that shows the president saving the country's infrastructure. Ramia says his goal was to deliver a positive message. With Michel Oun elected president and through his power, jobs will be created for the Lebanese people and the development in the country will be seen worldwide. I consider Pierre Sadek a great man with ideas that were clear in his drawings and caricatures. Here I tried shifting from my style to his style because he focuses on politicians. By organizing this exhibition at the Sursuk Museum, the Pierre Sadek Foundation is passing the artist's legacy on to a new generation. But it's also a reminder that political opinions can be expressed with just a few strokes of a pen. Abir Ahmar, to RT World, Beirut.